Hello, today we're going to be taking a look at Anodyne, which is a game made by Sean Hogan and Jonathan Kataka. It's currently being promoted on Pirate Bay, and I think you can pick it up there for a dollar. If you like it, you can visit them at anodynegame.com. So, go ahead and jump in here. This is a very uh, Zelda-like classic kind of RPG. Um, there is a lot of dungeon crawling, there's a lot of, uh, instead of a sword you use a broom, but there is a lot of puzzles and, uh, you know, fighting monsters and stuff like that. The game does have a pretty good sense of humor. Here it tells me that if I, uh, talk to people multiple times, they'll have new things to say. The rocks don't have anything to say. So, it does have good sense of humor sometimes. Um, the overall story is about a kid who is trying to avoid reality by kind of going into this fantasy world, and that's, uh, hence the name. Anodyne, uh, is basically painkiller. I'm kind of running through this as fast as I can to show you, um, the broom. Now, music in the game is, is really good, in my opinion, and it's probably one of the better parts of the game. Um, the gameplay kind of suffers the further you go on. It basically never evolves beyond this, um, the suite, basically. That's, uh, that's pretty much all the combat. Uh, and later on, you have to find these collectible cards. Now, I don't really mind collectibles. They're fine in every game, but this one actually forces you to find them all in order to advance through different uh, areas of content. Which, uh, since this is like an open kind of map, it, it can take a while to find... Um, all the different things that it wants you to find in order to open a gate or anything like that. These are the save points here. I'm going to try to get to the dungeon as quick as I can. You got a bike straight out of Pokemon here. Now, I told you about the story. The story kind of falls apart the further you get into the game. Uh, it's a good idea, um, but it starts out strong, but the further you go, it kind of gets um, convoluted and a little hard to follow. Alright, this is the first dungeon in the game right here. So, got standard combat, and then you've got puzzles that you have to solve. Uh, this guy right here can only be killed by hitting him in the back. He's got like a shield on the front side of him. But as you can see, I've got to go through, collect keys from chests, open different doors. Uh, these little things on the ground here, that's dust, which you can sweep up and then use to, to solve puzzles. Most of the time it's by blocking laser beams like I just did there. Now, um, oops. two keys. I haven't seen any cards yet to really show you that. Um, 
They're hidden in this dungeon a little later and outside in that area out there. You do have to use monsters a lot of the time to solve the problems that you run into. You have to hit them into lasers, onto pads, stuff like that. So later in the game there are jumping puzzles, which uh, they don't translate well to 2D games. That really isn't something that they should have added in my opinion, and it's, uh, it can get a little annoying. But it's not nearly as bad as the, the collectible items. that to open that door. So whenever I go back around that slime should be dead. I just have to kill that one thing to open the door. But uh, oops. this is essentially anodyne right here. It's a dungeon cr classic dungeon crawler. Here's the uh, first boss. See if I can take him down while I'm talking. But um, the story's good. But, uh, that's essentially the game right there. Whenever you die, you restart at the last checkpoint. So if this game looks interesting to you, if you're a Zelda fan, if you are up for a, a classic dungeon crawler type game, please visit them at anodynegame.com, or you can go to the Pirate Bay right now and, and get it from there. Um, if you like this review, this showcase, please visit us at lastgamestanding.com, where we'll be putting indie game reviews and news uh, we'll also post any new bundles or good deals we find, so please check us out. Thanks. <laughs>